Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to film a quick review video of this beautiful coach medicine bag. Please don't mind, don't mind my puppy here. He decided to sit right by the bag when I'm while I'm filming. So <laughs> anyway, so this bag is called Coat Medicine and it's got very um, Chanel uh, vibe um, at much better price points. As you know, Chanel bags are very, very expensive, especially Chanel Classic Flap. Um, I would like to add Chanel Classic Flap to my collection at some point hopefully near future, but uh, not right now. So I was looking for something alternative and I found this um, coat medicine bag, which I am very, very happy about. So before I purchased this, I actually purchased Coach Parker. I'll insert photos uh, somewhere here or here. So I purchased, I previously purchased Coach Parker because I felt like that also had Chanel-like vibe, which it did, but um, it had much thinner quilt. This quilt is much wider, but uh, Coach Parker had much thinner quilt and it had rivets all over, which I wasn't so crazy about. Also, the structure of Coach Parker wasn't as uh, solid as Madison, so it was more squishy. And the grommet was positioned um, like this, not not like this on uh, Madison. So it was like this. So when you pull the chain, it tend to squish the top and pinch the top um, and make it pointy. So I didn't like that. Also, Coach Parker had a back pocket. I'll just a photo here. It had back pocket, but the back pocket wasn't quilted, which I wasn't very crazy about. So I ended up selling Coach Parker. And when I found, when I saw Coach Medicine, I was like, oh my God, that's the bag I want. So I ended up ordering it, but I didn't order it directly from Coach's website. I found it on Mercari at really, really great deal, really good price point. I got something like 50% off. So, um, and Coach's website right now, the bag came as a brand new bag with the tag. So I, I cut it off because, you know, I knew I was going to keep the bag. Um, so the, the original price is $4.95, but I got, I got this at about 50% off. So um, let me just give you a quick tour of the bag. So as you can see, it's got this like really puffy quilt and very, very soft leather. Um, let me zoom in, you can see it's very soft and it's got this turn lock closure like so and the bag has this back pocket that's also quilted. I love that the back pocket is also quilted and it's like uh, it, the back pocket is runs from here to here um, so and it's it's very deep. It, it goes all the way down to the bottom here. So that's really great. The phone will fit in here easily. So it's great. And it's got this chain strap. So you can wear it like a shoulder bag. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, shoulder bag. Or you can wear it as a crossbody bag. There's many different ways of wearing it. So I'll show that to you later on. Um, and the chain quality is really great. Let me zoom in and show you the chain. It's really great quality and it's got this squishy sound. I love this like tactile sensation when I squeeze this strap. So it's very good quality. Also, as I pointed out, the grommets are side by side, not like this. So when you, um, pull the strap like so it doesn't squish the top part it doesn't make the top part pointy so that's great um, so if I open the turn lock closer it's got this beautiful microfiber burgundy lining oh let me show you one more thing so it's got really awesome details as you can see on the grommet it says coat 
and also on uh, the side of the bag there's this little hook for a back charm it had doggy tag which i took off because i normally um don't keep the doggy tag on the back so it came with this doggy tag here i took off took it off and put it in this pocket anyway so um the inside has this gorgeous gorgeous microfiber lining and um, on the front there is this magnetic closer and there's one pocket here one slip pocket with same burgundy lining and there's a second pocket here with burgundy lining which is really great and it closes very easily so i love this pocket and inside there's this um one main compartment this is a silica that came with the bag so there's one main compartment and there's a zipper closure there and uh, on the, the zipper closure it's lined with this burgundy color fabric that says coat and i didn't know about this right away but the zipper closure uh zipper pocket also has this back pocket which is awesome so i didn't know this right away but i noticed it later on so that's great one thing that i really like about coat zipper is that they have just like snap in mechanism so it snaps into the place so it doesn't like flap around which is great so like typically like zippers kind of flap around but this one you can snap in place and it stays there and also just look at this detail the zipper pull says coat the detail is amazing so anyway that's the um the overview of the bag so it's got like lots of compartment so let me show you what fits in the bag Oh, before I do what fits in the bag, let me show you a quick size comparison. So here's Pushet. Sorry, my phone got tilted. So let me move it back into place. Sorry about that. So let me show you a quick size comparison. So um, it looks pretty comparable to Pushet Matisse. Oh, sorry, my phone keeps moving okay no okay stay <laughs> okay so it's pretty comparable to push and matisse but um it's it has much um solid like it's got structure as opposed to push and matisse is like squishy and soft so um i don't think it fits as much as push and matisse because Push up Matisse can expand and it's very like soft, squishy. So it can expand out. This one is not going to expand out because it's very structured bag. So let's try what fits in the bag. So currently I'm using my LV favorite. So I'm gonna take everything out from here and put it in here. So my wallet. My six key holder, my tissue, my lip balm, and AirPods. So that's it in the favorite. But we can definitely fit more. So here's my coin wallet. That fits no problem. Here's another card holder. I keep all my healthcare card in this card holder. I keep them separate. That fits in no problem. My lotion, um, yeah, that fits in just fine. I can even fit in another lotion in here, which I normally don't carry two lotions at the same time, but just for the purpose of showing you how much it can fit, that fits in no problem. I have this pouch that I carry um, for cash. This one is pretty, I mean, I guess it can fit, but I'm going to put it in this front pocket. Or maybe in here. That's, that fits no problem. 
I can even try to fit in my sunglasses. Or that close? Yes. So that closes. So sunglass can fit in here. I can probably like put in sanitizer in here, but I normally don't like carrying sanitizer in my purse because if it leaks out and ruins my bag, then I'll be really, really sad. So anyway, so if you prefer, you can pop in sanitizer in there. Um, let's see. Let me take out everything and show you exactly how much it can fit. So, so all these fit in there. So that's quite a lot. But let's try a different way. Um, this is my uh, mini pochette that I use as carry keep ball. This will definitely fit in here vertically so I can just pop it in here. I can put in my wallet. I can put in my six key holder that fits side by side like so. So you don't have to put them on top of each other. Um, lip balm, definitely. AirPod, yes. Lotion and maybe tissue and lotion like so. So that fits in no problem and it closes like no problem. Oh, there's this pouch in the front as well. So that fits in no problem. And you can put in your, put your phone in, on, in the back pocket, no problem. So it fits quite a lot. So that's great. Um, let me try to do a mod shot to show you what it looks like on my frame. For reference, I'm about five, four and a half. So I, you know, usually say I'm five and five, five, but on a good day, I'm like five, four. If I shrink down a little bit, <laughs> oh, sorry, on good days, I, I am five, five, but then like on a bad days when I hunt, over a lot, then I'm like, I shrunk, I shrink down to like five, four. Anyway, so let me show you some mod shot. Okay, so here's the bag with both chains pulled up and you can wear it like a shoulder bag, like so. So it hits really good place, very comfortable to wear. And um, you can pull one strap. I prefer to pull the chain that are, um, outside like so the outside chain you can pull inside chain like this but i prefer pulling outside chain you can wear it like a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag like this or you can be creative and pull this chain up and wear it like gabrielle so this is kind of creative way of wearing it it's a little bit higher than um what i would normally prefer but i think it kind of works you can even like turn it to the back side it's kind of creative so i like that as well um, you can even shorten the strap by pulling like for example this inner chain here you can open the flap and loop it around and then pull it so that way the chain is a little bit shorter and you can wear it like a shoulder bag like this so it sits a little bit higher up or you can even um, wear it like a top handle bag so what I normally do is I pull the outer chain like so and then cross it let's see if i can do this standing up so cross this and then um, loop it on the flap and then pull it so that way you have this three chains coming out of the bag it's kind of cool and it becomes a top handle bag so I like carrying it like this as well. It's perfect for a formal evening occasion to carry like a top handle bag. 
So anyway, so that's the Masha. Oh, for reference, I mentioned it earlier. Um, for reference, I'm about five, four and a half. Anyway, so that's it for um, today's video. If you find this video helpful, I would very much appreciate it if you hit that like button and give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, I would welcome you to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you come back to watch uh, my other videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.